First annual Sound the Alarm campaign. The Red Cross doesn't operate without volunteers. Home Fire campaign is a really exciting campaign we've been part of since 2014 making sure we're making homes safer and saving lives. Sound the alarm is a time in these two weeks where we are going to install over 100,000 alarms nationwide, a thousand here in Las Vegas. We know that these have saved over 420 lives nationwide because you're putting alarms in. So know that you potentially are saving somebody's life, which is amazing. We had two fires in Vegas yesterday. They made it out because of smoke alarms. You're gonna make sure that people stay safe if unfortunately something happens, but also provide important education so maybe the fire doesn't happen or they know what to do. One of our big partners for this is something that's pretty special and near and dear to my heart. Um, I grew up as a young kid in a small town in Ohio and though we had great role models, one of those role models that I looked up to, that we look forward to every year, was the Harlem Globetrotters. They would come into our schools, they would talk to us as kids, they would inspire us, make us laugh, make us think about what's possible and what we can do. And that truly, and I mean from the bottom of my heart, has really resonated with me as I've grown up. So when I heard the Globetrotters were a national partner, I was like, no way. Maybe I'm just a little too old, a little too excited. Um, I was like a kid in a candy store thinking, I'm gonna get an autograph. Um, Metal Ark Lemon was my idol growing up uh, and it truly did uh, change the way I looked at kind of life and the possibilities growing up. So today we have Scooter, one of the Harlem Globetrotters. Well, my name is Shane Scooter Christensen. I'm from and born and raised right here in Las Vegas, Nevada. So a lot of people didn't know that. But it's, I'm very proud to be here. I've actually been with the team for 13 years. I've been uh, to 84 different countries. Uh, some of the cool spots I've been to, I've been to Jerusalem, Africa twice, Iraq and Baghdad to put for the troops in 2006, and I played on an aircraft carrier in the Mediterranean Sea. So if it wasn't for the Globetrotters and my dedication to the game of basketball, I definitely wouldn't be in the position I'm in today. But I'm excited to be here because this is something very that's near and dear to my heart. My dad is actually a firefighter, well, a retired firefighter, so I really know how important this is. And earlier this year, I did a speech on Red Cross, and I heard so many stories of what the people did, not only for people, but for animals. And the, the, some of the heroic stories that I've heard is unbelievable. So I know how important this is today with the smoke detectors. And the one thing that I got out of it, when people put in the smoke detectors, what we do is they, all, they always talked about having an escape plan. You know, and I think once people do that and they have a plan, I remember my dad throwing us a plan when I was little. I had no idea what he was doing, but I knew when he was in dad mode, for sure. You know, but uh, but I'm actually happy for the Globetrotters to partner with Red Cross only because I know they go over 64,000 disasters a year just to give people their smiles back. With the Globetrotters, we know a little something about making people smile. And for us to have that partnership just makes it a perfect marriage. So I think I'm actually excited to be here and to help you guys and do whatever I can do to make you smile. Get out there and save lives. Thank you all.